morning. This is the Shaman Oracle reading for my lovely Pisces. Good morning, Pisces. I hope you all are well. And two important cards that came out when I shuffled for Pisces. They are important in the shamanic tradition, the spiral and the hummingbird. So let me start. The spiral is life itself it moves and swirls and turns around and back and forth as life events change course they can be destructive at times and force the events to get in some direction we haven't contemplated but once such such forces do we are left with either an acceptance or a deep despair the spiral is used in most all cultures and is a magical symbol in shamanism. We find it all through nature, the cosmos with its galaxies as that huge spiral fog. There are beautiful spirals imprinted on seashells and most of us in some time in our life have collected some on a beach to take them home as a reminder of that magical experience a, a beach and b the shells our fingerprints have spirals and each hand has a unique set of such fingerprints no two are identical making us forever us standing apart from others in a fingerprint kind of sense. Animals too have their own prints in form of animal tracks and one who learned to read them well knows what animals walked the earth before him. The spirit can also be a destructive force. One when it shows that form of destruction is seen in a tornado, for instance, when the tornado can swirl around with such great force that even houses, cars, trees and other things can get damaged in that process. The spiral is an ever ongoing sign of connection as well as continuation not only to other human beings, but to animals, plants, stones, and to all there ever was. The spiral is the DNA of life itself. Cut down a tree and see for yourself. Each tree trunk has an own DNA, and the spiral is left in that tree trunk as a proof of a tree's life. That tree trunk imprint of that tree DNA resembles a fingerprint. Leonardo da Vinci already knew the secrets of spirals connecting everything with each other. When you enjoy the beauty of stones, not necessarily the most precious kind, like gems that are used for beautiful pieces of jewelry. When you like stones of the more ordinary kind, the ones we find everywhere in nature, then you know that they too have their very own prints on them. If you are lucky, you might find one exceptional pretty piece. As a young child, my parents my brother and I, we took a vacation in some mountains and when we took walks, we found many such very special stones. Some of the stones had a painting on them, not painted by mankind, but a painting was done by nature and the whatever conditions that carved the images on such stones. We find spirals also in the oldest caves of our earth. 
Their spirals are painted together with animals and other things and it was to set a mark, letting the earth know that one was there. So, no wonder that spirals are our first DNA of life. Spirals, they know no still stand. Still stand is death and spirals, they are alive. Spirals, they stick around. They are carved on objects eternally. As a soul card, the spiral wants you to motivate yourself, Pisces, to move forward, to learn new things and to fight for right causes, to make your own mark by carving your own imprints upon the earth. Sometimes you have to stop going in circles and just climb a tree, a mountain, or another high place to gain a better perspective. Don't always rely on the same old experiences because as you cannot step twice in the same source of water, you should not repeat the same patterns to gain new opportunities, says this card. Sometimes one has to swirl out from a common spiral to swirl into another one. They remain spirals, but now they changed an event to bring about a new result. A relationship is also a spiral. Everything develops and swirls around to gain insight. But we need patience to give time for relationships to develop. Some of the new in a relationship is related to the old, has many common aspects and yet has its very own DNA. You can breathe new life in the old and the new by getting a new look on things. So fighting for good causes empowers you because you now are the spirit yourself. You swirl around and you sometimes become uncomfortable to others because you point out injustice, unfairness, a lack of understanding to what needs to be filled with empathy and passion for wanting to change the old bad into a new good. The power of spirits can be used for the good and the bad and the card reminds us to use it for the good and to accept that the bad is part of the whole life force of a spiral. Sometimes destruction is needed to give room for a new creation. So get a picture of a nice spiral, Pisces, that speaks to you and put it in your home or place it of business or paint your own spiral. When you look at a picture, what do you feel? What inspiration is the image of the spiral giving you? Contemplate it and gain your own answers. At least the spiral is that one great magic of all of life's great secrets, connecting forever everything there is and ever was. That is the spiral's meaning and message. Now we come to the animal spirit, the hummingbird. The hummingbird fits in perfectly with the spiral. The hummingbird too is very magical. Whoever saw one of the most delicate and mystical hummingbirds can never forget having met one. The spirit of the hummingbird encourages you to open up your soul, <coughs> soul and let your loved ones see your true feelings. The symbolic meaning of a hummingbird reminds us to let love and light into our lives. You shall trust your inborn abilities. This spirit animal is a sort of guidance 
as a reminder to appreciate life and its little pleasures. Allow your creativity to blossom and also become more flexible and adaptable. These tiny birds are seen as the messengers from angels and Central American belief holds them also to be heralds, heralds from heaven. In that case, the bird delivers an important message. Learn from past mistakes and forgive yourself in order to grow can be a spirit message from the hummingbird. It also can be a reminder not to be solely focused on the material but also on spiritual matters. It's also a sign of freedom and so an appreciation of the liberty one enjoys. The greatest qualities of the hummingbird is courage, determination and loyalty. As a person with the hummingbird personality, you are very colorful and exuberant. You bring light into the lives of others and you often are at the center of attraction. People love to socialize with you and you are a treasured friend. But as all animal spirits, the two have a side that may cause or relate to struggles. The hummingbird spirit can relate to emotional instability. You can be prone to mood swings and emotional outbursts. A hummingbird consumes a ton of energy while it flies. So learn to manage your energy. Physical, emotional and spiritual energy is only gained through resting. So you can gain back strength. You can also have some difficulties following through with ideas or activities. So, says the card, stick to them and don't get too much distracted. Sometimes we lose our focus and the card wants to remind you that life has a special way to test us. It wants to know if we have the needed strength to meet any challenge. Peace and healing are some of the most potent blessings that a hummingbird can bestow upon you. Use this sacred medicine of hummingbird to heal your soul and to find the right direction. Hummingbird represents joy, excitement and vibrancy. When life feels dull, routine or getting even a bit Board, remember the hummingbird's virtues to bring back some spontaneity. Hummingbirds have extremely quick moving wings. That is their special skill to collect nectar from flowers. You are asked to be as skillful to enjoy a certain lightness, to make your relationships enjoyable and stressless. Take a good look today to recognize the small and smallest signs of beauty in your life. And remember, people who are no longer on earth, but they continue to live in the spiritual world, where they keep a tap on you, Pisces. The hummingbird spirit relates to unexpected luck, a sudden happening like the memories of loved ones which send their greetings down to you and us. So, Pisces, that was your reading. I wish you a wonderful day. I thank you for being here. And please come back next time. And I have another reading for the sign of Pisces. Have a wonderful day, okay? Goodbye.